Hi friends, welcome to your 10 minute yoga. Today is our day two power of plank yoga challenge, part of the seven day yoga challenge to start off your new year on a good status with your health and your well-being. So if you're ready, just grab your mat. You just need 10 minutes out of your day for this practice, that's all. And we're going to be doing a lot of different plank exercises, which plank is honestly my favorite pose in yoga because it's very empowering. It's the after effects of plank that you feel so much energy for the rest of your day. It's like a natural boost of energy and your cup of coffee. So go ahead and grab your mat and let's begin. So we're gonna to start to warm up at the back of our mat again, and just have a seat in a hero pose with all of your 10 toes tucked under. Place your hands in front of you with the fingertips towards your knees. Bend your elbows, lift your wrists off the mat, and just start to pulse your hips side to side as you rock. Just focusing on your breath, Focusing on stilling the mind as you move the body. This is a really great way to get relief through the wrists and the forearms. So really breathe in as you allow fresh blood flow into that part of the body. Your head can be up or down, whatever feels better for your neck. Just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Your breath is your fuel here, so make sure you, you use your breath the whole time, inhalation and exhalation, not holding the breath. Taking another deep breath in through your nose, and exhale out through the mouth. Good, and then flip your hands to face neutral. We're just gonna warm up the spine really quick, so relax your toes behind you as you untuck them. Place your hands on top of your legs. And as you inhale, go ahead and take a cow. As you open your chest forward, maybe let the head fall slightly back. And then on the exhale, you're gonna round the spine towards the back and take your chin to your chest, an angry cat. Inhale, move with your breath, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. Let the heart move forward. And then exhale, rounding the spine towards the back, taking your chin to your chest. Inhale, lubricating the spine, moving it in two opposite directions here. Inhale again, open up your chest, and then exhale, releasing the spine back, chin to your chest, and then seated back to neutral. Walk your hands forward into tabletop position. Tuck all of your toes behind you and start to hover your knees one to two inches off the mat. We're gonna start here with our walking planks. So you're gonna step your right foot back, left foot back, right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot back, left foot back, right foot forward, left foot forward. And you just keep moving with your breath. Make sure that your head is not dangly and it's also not too high, so it's in line with your spine. So you want one long line from the crown of your head all the way to the bottom of your feet as you step back. Your fingers are spread nice and wide here for better grip on the mat and making sure that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. The hips are not too high, so we're not in a downward dog. And making sure the hips are not too low, so they're not sagging. So really focusing on every body part here, because plank is a full body exercise that targets our upper and lower body and core. So breathe into this. Feel free to drop your knees and rest it down at any time. Last set of two. Last one, stepping back into bear as you hover the knees, drop your knees back, keep your toes tucked though and push your hips back into a modified child's pose. Just relax, take a deep breath in, exhale out. And as you inhale, you're gonna shoot forward into plank position. Exhale, drop your knees and push it back into child's pose. Keep your toes tucked, inhale. Shoot forward, plank. 
Exhale, tap the knees down and push it back, child's pose. Inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, drop the knees, push it back, child's pose. Inhale, again, come forward. Exhale, drop the knees and push it back. Keep going here, move with your breath. Use the power of your breath and finding that core connection, your powerhouse, that center of your body. Inhale, exhale, child's pose. Last time, inhale, plank. Exhale, rest it back into your child's pose. Really push the hips back as you stretch and walk the fingers more forward, elongating through the spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, long breath out. Come forward, tabletop position. Tuck all of your toes behind you and start to push your hips back into downward facing dog as you stretch the legs. We're just gonna inhale and do some spinal rolls here as we work with the breath. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, bend your knees as you push your hips back into modified downward dog. Straighten out your legs and then inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, bend your knees, pushing your hips back, straighten out your legs. And again, inhale, slow with control into plank. Exhale, bend your knees as you lead with the hips back and then straighten the legs. Inhale, come forward, plank, bend the knees as you lead with the hips back into a modified, and then you straighten the legs once you're all the way back. Shift back forward on the inhale plank. Bend the knees, push it back, straighten the legs, and again, last round, inhale plank. Bend your knees, push back, straighten the legs. Now inhale as you come forward into your plank position. Find your alignment. Really engage your core, navel to your spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. And on the next inhale, we're gonna shift onto a side plank, so onto the left side body here, to really work into the obliques and side body strengthening. Now, if this is too much on the balance, Drop your right foot in front of your left foot so you have better support on your mat as your right arm reaches up. Other option is you can drop your bottom knee and take a modified side plank. I want you to try to lift your bottom knee though as much as you can and take this modification where you have one foot in front if possible to try to really get deeper into the core and strengthening the upper body. Flex your feet so they're stacked here, engaging through the calves. And your eyes can look up or it can look down. Squeezing your belly in and breathing here as you use your breath. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Exhale if you wanna reach your right arm over your head to get that long body stretch. Really open up through the side. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, just lift your right arm back up. We're gonna pivot into plank. Hold your plank though, keep your hips in line. And then exhale, we shift onto the other side into side plank and lift the left arm up. Remember, you can take your left foot in front of your right foot. And that'll help with better balance. Make sure your head is in line with the spine. So you want one long line from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. Letting that left hip stack over the right hip and left arm stack over the right. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, reaching your left arm over your head, lengthening through the side here. Really reach those fingertips, spreading the hands or spreading the fingers nice and wide. And then inhale, center your arm back towards the sky. Pivot your body back center towards plank. Drop your knees and just shift it back. Take a deep breath in, in your child's pose with your toes tucked. Exhale, breathe it out. And on your next inhale, we're gonna come forward into plank position. Find your alignment. We're gonna take our last exercise as we tap our shoulders here. So tapping 
your left shoulder and then tapping your right shoulder with the opposite hand. Trying to keep your hips stable and keeping the fingers spread apart for more grip, more energy through the hands and the arms and keeping the hips low. Using your breath, last four, three, two, one. Hold your plank and then we take our right knee to our left elbow, step it back. Take your left knee to your right elbow, step it back. And again, right knee to left elbow, step it back. Left knee to right elbow, step it back. And keep going here. Working the side abs. Try to pick up the pace and go a little bit faster. Keeping the alignment of your plank. And that's it, just tapping the opposite elbow with the opposite knee and breathing here. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding your plank. Exhale, push it back into downward facing dog. Drop your knees on the mat and then just have a seat. Like we started, easy pose. Sit up really tall, place your hands on your heart, feeling the heartbeat. And let us close off our practice as we inhale. Open your arms, stretch and lengthen towards the sky. Exhale, take your hands in front of your heart. And again, inhale, open your arms. Exhale, reach up for the sky. Somebody's already ready to say namaste. And last time as we inhale, open the arms. Reach straight up, squeeze your palms together, down in front of your heart. Thank yourself for being strong for today's challenge. Keep joining me to start off the year strong and keep getting stronger with a daily practice. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.